what it do, my beautiful, 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 beautiful people. I'm gonna wait till like one person is in, and then I'll start talking. Uh, just finish up my last delivery. I'm about to um, go home, get fresh, freshen up, and get ready for my show out in Dorchester, Massachusetts, south of Boston. But uh, uh, Dave Chappelle just dropped another special yesterday called Sticks and Stones, and it was it was phenomenal, man. It was right on time. Like I was I was hoping he would do something like this, man, because. Any like hot button topic that you could think of that you're not supposed to talk about or make light of, like transgenders or handicapped people, homosexuals, pedophiles, like the nigga was siding. Like I'm, I'm not gonna give it. I'm not gonna give it away to those that didn't watch it. But if you could think of any any stance that you're not supposed to take in society because you're gonna you you might get some type of uh, backlash. Dave Chappelle just said, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. And I'm glad, I, I'm in a curve right now, but I gotta clap for home, man. I'm, I'm glad he did that shit, because it's like, all these pussy ass, pansy, social justice warriors that act like they have zero sense of humor, and you can't say that, and that's offensive, and I'm offended. Like, grow the fuck up and get a spine, man. And essentially, that's what Dave Chappelle said, with his latest special. I think it's one of the greatest specials of all time that I've personally seen. Not just because of like the material, but because of the climate of the day. You know what I'm saying? The climate of how society is right now. And for you to be like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck if I get banned or if they try to cancel me. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say whatever it is I'm gonna say. I'm gonna have some ball. Why Why is this woman, this woman can't drive. You have, is yield does not mean stop, you stupid bitch. <clears throat> but um he uh he just said fuck everybody I'm gonna have a good time man you know I'm gonna have fun like if you can't see that I'm just making jokes and having a good time I don't know what the fuck to tell you I'm not gonna stop doing what I'm doing and then Dave Chappelle's aut autonomous he, he doesn't do like a lot of TV shows yes he's connected with Netflix but Netflix is more risque as far as their um as far as their um content but he ain't, he, don't, he ain't not worried about getting canceled by like a major network or anything like that. Even if Netflix did cancel him, this dude could just, he could just tour and sell out arenas all the motherfucking time and get money, man. But it's, it was just, it was just classic Dave, just not giving a fuck. Even though I feel like Dave always had, has that edge to him. Like he doesn't give a fuck. But like in the last few ones, he was still, like he, was, he was trying to be more tactful. Like, the first special special he dropped, um, I forget what it was called. The one in the last couple of years or whatever. The one at the end of 2017. Um, the two that he dropped around Christmas or whatever. He made fun of transgenders and shit. He had a joke where he was saying um, uh, some transgender chick was drunk, drunk or whatever. And uh, and then he asked he asked one of her friends. He's like, is your friend, is, is he okay? He's like, she is okay. She it's going to be whatever, whatever. And he's like, word, you want to try to play the pronoun game with me? Well, I'm only asking if she is okay because her dick is falling out of her dress. <laughs> Yo, that shit was so motherfucking funny. But that, that put the, 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 the transgender community in an uproar. So in the special following that, he had a joke of um, how the you know, transgender gender community was um, mad at him and... Uh, he went to a club, he was at a club or whatever, where it was all kinds of people, gay, straight, or whatever. And he was dancing with somebody the whole night and she was real sexy, but when the lights came on, he saw he saw the knuckles, he saw her knuckles on Adam's apple. He's like, oh no, I was dancing with a transgender. And he was like, why didn't you tell me? He's like, well, I was having a good time and I didn't want you to be upset. I'm gonna, I don't want any trouble. I'm gonna be going home now. He's like, why? I mean, it's two more songs, I might as well just finish. He said, uh, so uh, we wound up having breakfast the next day. You know what I mean? So he took a joke, making fun of the transgenders to a joke, making himself like gay, essentially. You know what I mean? So he kind of like catered to him with that with that second joke or whatever. But this this time around, he ain't give a fuck. 
the shit was crazy, man. Like, and, and and that's the thing. It's just it's just it's people can't take comedians too seriously. Like, you know, like the first thing that we're trying to do is make you laugh, and then after that, if you can learn something good, or if you can be entertained, you know what I mean, or if you can see something in a different light, if you can, you know, see a different perspective, then that's cool. But these social justice warriors, it's like they feed off of just being upset and pissed off. And the worst kind of social justice warriors is social justice warriors who claim to be comedians, though. I feel like if you're a comedian, you can't, you can, you ain't no social, you're, you're a real comedian, you're not no social justice. You're not no SJW, though. Because, like, to me, like, being a SJW is, like, the antithesis of what a, a, a comedian is at its core. A comedian at its core is to use painful things and to try to make light out of them. And it creates conversation. First, it makes you laugh, and it creates conversations. And a lot of times, like I say, in the in the artistry world, comedians and poets, and I'm both, we are like at the we're like the Marines of, uh, uh, as far as like like social social justice in general and in and uh, controversy in general because we're the first ones that'll talk about a hot topic and then people conversations spawn off off of that. Where people are like, oh, I don't know if I should talk about that. I don't know if I should talk about that. Comic comedians, we don't even think about that shit. We just do it. So if you're a, a pussy ass SJW motherfucker, like you're like, uh, I don't know if I should say that. That's gonna piss these people off. Uh, I don't know if I should say that. That's gonna piss that people off. Now, I'm not saying just go around and just say shit for the sake of offending motherfuckers. Like, it's all about your intention. Your intention has to be funny. You know what I'm saying? My intention is never is to be funny. I'm not. I don't, like, when I do my stuff, I don't intend to be hurtful. I got a whole joke about lesbians and how it doesn't make sense that they use dildos that look like dicks. Like, you claim you don't like dick, but you use something that looks like dick to please yourself or to please another person. You know what I mean? But I, 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 I do it in a smooth way. You know what I'm saying? So, and people can, I'm saying some real shit, but people, people can see that it's obvious that I'm making a joke. You dig what I'm saying? But some people get, some people get offended by it. Oh well, but I'm not killing, I'm not advocating murder and death and, and all that shit. Now there are some extreme shock comics that say crazy ass shit. I'm not one of those, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't really co-sign that. But at the same time, if I see that your intent is just to be funny, then I gotta rock with it. Right? They say, Oh, you can't you can't tell rape jokes. You can tell any type of joke that you wanna tell. First of all, like I said, your intent has to be clear that it's supposed to be funny. You're not supposed to be, you're, you're not trying to be hurtful. You're, you're, you're trying to be funny. You're trying to turn something hurtful into something that is humorous. And B, the word rape or like just shock words, that shouldn't be the punchline unless you figured out the way, a funny way to make it a punchline. But the, the, the word isn't what makes you laugh. Just the idea or the story or the scenario. That's what makes you laugh or whatever. And that's what Dave did, man, with this with, with this uh, special, man. That shit was. I listened to it once. I watched most of it. I was watching it late night, so I like only only watched half of it. You know what I'm saying? So I got to go back and watch it. But I listened to it in its entirety. You know what I'm saying? But I want to go back and really sit down. And I'm and I'm kind of sick, as you can hear. Like I'm like real congested. So I want this shit to clear up a little better, so I can really really watch it. Cause when I watch comedians, you know, I'm not I'm not I'm not just listening to it. I'm looking at your face. I'm looking at your facial expressions, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at body language. I'm looking at your pauses, your cadence. If something happens off the cuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm looking at all those things, you know? And it, if you're just listening to comedy as opposed to watching it, it's, it's, a, it's a different, it's, it's a different experience, you know what I'm saying? But, yo, the shit was, the shit was phenomenal, man. Like you saying, was, his second impression was dope as fuck, yo. Yo, you see, the, the the M yo, even when the MJ bit, when he said it, I thought it was far too. But you know, you know, you know the funny thing about that bit? I he said a bit like that before and No, the thing about the MJ bit, he said something similar before. Or it either was him or no, nah, it wasn't it wasn't Eddie Griffin, because Eddie Griffin got Mike has Michael Michael Jackson back. He would never say something disparaging about Mike, not like that. But um he said something like that before. He said he said all, all Michael Jackson did was Take it to something, something, give you a blowjob, whatever, whatever. Now he, 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 that was a rehash joke. But it was more shocking the way he said it this time, though. But that's the thing. It, yo, it's a comic. Yo, it's 300 billion. It's like 8 billion people on earth, man. It's impossible to please and make everybody think that you're funny or appreciate what you're doing, man. You know how I many people like I, I see that say Dave Chappelle stinks? 
Comics don't never say that. I mean, besides phase on love, but comedians, they, uh, as far as like, if you know the technicality that goes into comedy, as far as writing and putting it together and, and delivering that shit on stage, anybody that's like a serious comic trying to do their comedy, you out your fucking mind if you're gonna say that Dave Chappelle's a bum, if he or he trash. So that's that's a lie. But anyway, it's, it's good. Like it, like the the mic the MJ bit it, it it bothered me a little bit, but I saw where he was coming from. Even though it, it was extreme, and I could see where it would it would make some people uncomfortable and upset, but it's just like if you're watching a movie, like Wait Until Exhale, or you know what I'm saying, some shit like that. It got some good parts. It got some love scenes. It got some scenes that made like or, or Soul Food when when Miles was cheating or, or cheating on his wife with the chick in, in his own house or whatever, and they, and they bed or on the table or whatever. That stuff makes you uncomfortable. Like, damn, that's a grimy ass bitch and a grimy dude doing what they do. But it's it's a part of the show. The entire show's not supposed to make you feel good, man. Nah, there was no spoilers, because I didn't I didn't give away the joke. I didn't tell you what the joke was. You know what I'm saying? I didn't tell you what the joke was. I just said any anything like hot button thing that you can think of, he talked about it. Like the major major shit that bother motherfuckers nowadays, he talked he talked he talked about it. All of it. All that shit. Terrorism, pedophilia, rape. This motherfucker covered it, covered it all. He was like, "Fuck it, I don't care. I'm about to, I'm about to tell you everything." And um, it was dope. I hope Show to Justice Warriors, not even like cringing in their boots, but just like, yo, have a fucking like, relax, man. Have some fucking guts. Have a funny bone, man. like have a soul. Like we just becoming some soulless, non-funny, politically correct motherfuckers, man. And I want to wait. I want. I'm gonna wait a couple, like a month or so, and watch a little bit more to really, 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 really um, absorb the information. Because I want to have a, dis a discussion about some of the jokes that he was talking about. Because like the shit, it was one joke. It was like one of the best things. Like not even jokes, just ideas I've ever heard in my life. The way he broke it down. Even when he started doing, it, I knew where he was gonna go with it. Yo. You know what I'm saying? And when he did it, I was like, yes, that shit was fucking, f fucking phenomenal, man. That shit was. That shit was awesome, man. Like, you you got you just have to be a sour, whack motherfucker. Yeah, you got to be a, 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 a sour, whack motherfucker to like not enjoy that shit, man. Like you always trying to be like right and politically correct, and you're supposed to say this and that, and like we all supposed to just be mechanical robots that are in this safe place and. Man, fuck all that shit. For the sake of comedy, man, you just trying to be funny, man. They trying to corporatize everything, man. Like, for the sake of comedy, man, it's, it's all about the humor, man, and just being funny, man, and just having a good time. You got to see the, the see the person's intent. Now, if he's saying some violent ass crazy shit and wishing death upon motherfuckers, but trying to like put a humorous, humorful spin on it, but he just being shocking or whatever, then I can understand that. But Dave is not that at all. Shit was dope. Fuck the uh, fuck the social justice warriors, man. This motherfucker basically saved comedy with that shit. Cause what's gonna happen is a, a lot of comics and people are gonna get start having more guts, and they're gonna start following suit as to what he did. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of hack comics that say they gonna feel like they got the the free will, the free will and liberty to say rape jokes and all that. Blah blah blah. Fuck the motherfuckers. If your shit is whack, you are gonna die out. But for the people that. Uh, actually really hard working comics really trying to like perfect their craft and harness their craft but they probably was scared to say some shit you know what I'm saying watching this special to me like it gives these people the courage to kind of like try that shit like me I, 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 I'm not I'm, I'm, free, I'm pretty fearless on stage I talk about smashing stud lesbians I talk about fucking um uh I talk about God being a deadbeat you know what I mean I talk, I talk about my mother <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I talk about all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm not one of those, but a lot of people, oh, I don't want to want to say that. And even if something is offensive, I've started to figure out how to flip some shit so that it's more palatable. But Dave, yo, Dave bodied that shit. He, he proved why, yo, to me, he the GOAT. I'm the greatest all the time, yo. And we are witnessing this motherfucker in our life, yeah. He's a beast. No, he ain't no deaf comedy jam running around being screaming and all that shit. But he could be. And he was at one point. He did that before. Been there, done that. But um, I'll holler at y'all. Hashtag everybody need more green. Peace.